Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Charlene if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing my six month breast augmentation post-op Q&A, like basically any regrets, any things I wish I knew, all that good stuff um, and kind of just a boob update I suppose because a lot can change in a few months especially with a boob job, it's, they're always changing. I haven't done an update since the one month mark and like a lot has changed since then and like the biggest change is going to happen they, they change in the first month as well, but the biggest change can happen after that when they drop and fluff and everything. So, I'm gonna get right into all your questions. I have a lot of them. A lot of them are already answered in my one month post up um, video and my vlog as well. So, I'll link them down below because a lot of them are answered there. If I haven't answered a question in this, it's probably because it's in that already. I will like kind of touch on some things I've already said too, obviously, but I'm not gonna be like in depth going into things I've discussed already. By the way, I'm so dressed up because I'm about to go to my birthday meal and I forgot I had to record this today, so that's why I'm doing it now. I know you can't really see them properly here, but I'm gonna do little pictures and start them along the way of my scars. I'm gonna do a little video even, like a split screen of what they're looking like now from the front and the side. So ignore how dressed up I am doing this. I usually don't look like this, especially for this kind of video. But we're on with it, so without further ado, let's get into the boob related questions. So like I said, I'm gonna do a split screen now of exactly what they're looking like in like a sports bra, obviously not naked and um, but in a sports bar from the front from the side I'll do like a little modeling of my boobs basically and um, just so you can see for the start but I'm gonna pop into the questions now but people have said do they feel hard so I answer this in the one month one as well but obviously they've changed now so they're much softer they're not like a natural boob like you can still you can feel there's an implant there you can feel that they're not real but they're much softer than they were like at the start when you first come out the operation they're like rocks they're literally like two rocks on your chest they're so hard to touch you can you can't even really imagine them ever feeling like a proper boob again like to me this is like a proper boob but then I feel a real boob and I'm like okay no you can feel the difference but compared to what they were they are literally so soft especially at the bottom because that's where I had a lot of not a lot of boob but I had most of my boob already so there's more fat covering, covering that part of the implant if that makes sense whereas up here it's harder because that's where I needed the implant that's where I had no volume at all so it's like harder up top and then as you go near the bottom it nearly feels like a real boob but it just depends obviously on how much tissue you had there before Um, but yeah it's it's worth like I don't mind that they feel like a real boob. This is a really good question actually. Someone said has your top size gone up for clothes? Um, it actually it has and it hasn't. Like for some stuff like say like I don't know a seamless top or something from Zara like I'd still be like the extra small to small and stuff like that. But some things when it's like really really small and skimpy um, or like a tight dress I would have to go up. I'm trying to think of another example like even sometimes bikini tops like sometimes yeah, I, I like them very skimpy like just covering the nipple just about but some bikini tops you would have to size up in um, or little tops that you'd wear out as well but the things that I have had to go up a size like it's it's only certain things really and um, also house CB stuff actually doesn't fit me anymore in the small I had to get a medium to fit my boobs in like the corset and stuff um, but usually I am the same size and things it's just the odd thing you have to go up a little bit um, but it's usually like one size and it's perfectly fine and um, I thought I'd have to like throw out all my tops and get all new ones but it's not it's not really like that because you're not getting like a huge huge difference and um, I definitely thought I'd have to throw away more than I actually ended up having to which is obviously great Um, but yeah only like one size if even sometimes a big one is any regrets Um, I have absolutely no regrets getting my boobs done I was gonna say I wish I got them sooner but I actually don't because I was 22 getting them I feel like that was a really good age to get them I feel like I'd really thought about it I'd really put my time into researching it I was researching it for a whole year and um, I feel like when you're researching that much the only thing you can regret is like you know maybe jumping into it or you know not picking the right person but because I've done so much research I really feel like I didn't obviously jump into it and I really did pick the right person for me and um, I went to multiple com consultations I literally scoured the internet for everything I watched vlogs videos everything and um, so I feel like I was really prepared for it and I definitely do not have any regrets so someone said how do you do the consultation for your boob job if the clinic was in another country I actually answered this before but basically I'd done it um, in person because he came over here for the consultation someone said what scar cream did you use can hardly see your scars I actually haven't used anything I'll insert a picture of my scars um, if I, I feel like that won't get my video deleted will it I don't think so but this is what you're meant to use this is brand new I have not even touched it so bio oil is what you're meant to use I also was sent this the other day and I'm actually gonna use, start using it uh, this is called kilo coat so what it does it prevents the hypertrophic and keloid scars resulting from burns general surgical procedures and trauma wounds so this is what it looks like it's like a silicone formula um, and you pop that on your scars that's going to be brilliant as well so I'm gonna try that as well and um, I'll leave links to them both in the description but they are 
my two recommendations definitely I've well I've heard they are um this is I'm gonna start actually using this but this I got and never used so bad so what this key coat does it helps soften and flatten scars reduces redness and relieves itching as well we have some this is brilliant as well um for like a few months ago well it would have been brilliant if I had it but I didn't have it then um to prevent itching and stuff because I found my scars got really itchy sometimes I just want to scratch them obviously you're like afraid to and um, this relieves that as well which is brilliant so as I said I'll link them to down below but my scars like have just been really really good like I've been blessed with them they just don't look bad at all I don't know if it's you know, my body how it heals the surgeon I'm not sure um but I've been really really lucky with how they look um, they don't look like sore like red or anything like that they just look like two little lines basically but I'll show you again the little picture and then someone said as well is your scar still red and has it faded so it's kind of like a purpley color I think I can't even think of it now again the picture would have been there in the last few seconds um but they're definitely not I don't think they're red anymore I don't think so um but definitely after six weeks mine still were red so don't be worrying someone asked you getting them done affect working out particularly weightlifting yeah so you can't lift weights I believe it's for now your dot your surgeon will advise on this don't take my word as the truth but I believe it was for eight weeks after six weeks you're advised I think to do like a bit of light exercise like maybe walking or like maybe cardio or something like that I'm not too sure but your surgeon will advise you because people get told different things all the time so that's not something I want to give advice on and um, but my first time lifting weights I think was about eight to ten weeks I definitely found I was much weaker I still feel like I'm a little bit weaker than I was you have to like build back up your strength because your muscles have to be cut if you get under the muscle um but yeah I definitely feel like my upper body is that bit weaker but I'm working on it now and especially for the first while you don't even want to push your upper body and um, only kind of now starting to proper lift lift heavier again because you'll know like your body will tell you as well as well as your doctor listen to your doctor but your body will tell you when you're able to do things again um when you feel comfortable like it's like your body just knows like one night I remember I was sleeping on my back and then I woke up and I was on my side and it like my body obviously knew that I felt right to do that because it was over the time that I had to sleep on my back for but I was still being careful but it's like your body just knows it's really weird um but yeah I just you'll know in yourself what you can do in the gym what you can't but just don't strain yourself because you don't want to undo a surgery you just got like it's a big deal you don't want to like damage that or do add into that because you'd have to get it done again it's just not worth it key things to bring away I answered this in my one month um update but I think you can look back because I probably said more things but I think I said a neck pillow and a long charger like a really long cable someone said are you allowed to sleep on your side and granted this is well the last one but no you're not for I think it's eight weeks I can't actually remember I probably like I, I can't remember what it was I feel like it was so long ago I think it was eight weeks um but your body again will know when when it's okay to sleep on your side again Someone said, how long was the recovery process? Strongly thinking about getting the girls done. So I, for under the muscle, it depends if you're going under row or some people are like fresh afterwards, but I definitely needed two weeks to do absolutely nothing. Um, I had two weeks of content shot on my phone that I could just put on Instagram. Um, I just needed them two weeks off and we were in a lockdown. Yeah, we were in a lockdown. Um, so I literally just needed that to let you rest. Your body will tell you as well when you're ready. Like you're just wrecked after the anesthesia. Um, and then obviously the the trauma of surgery as well. So I think two weeks for me. So a lot of people say one week off work. I think for me it would have been two weeks, but it depends on yourself. So make sure if you do need two weeks that you're able to get the two weeks off. Someone said I'm getting my boobs done soon, but I don't have what size to ask for. But I know what size I want to go by people's pictures, which I know I shouldn't go away because bras change, etc. How big and small boobs look so now I don't know what to ask for so what I done I literally screenshotted people's boobs that I liked and was like I want this <laughs> this boob um, and your surgeon will be able to tell you what he thinks that kind of is if it suits your body it's all about what suits your frame um, as well so if, if something like you show a picture that's not going to suit you they'll tell you that as well but yeah just show pictures literally picture is the best inspiration and tell them how you want them to look on you do you want big boobs do you want just a boob to be there like tell them what your goal is getting a boob job as well and they'll help you then pick the size such a random one but do you have movement in them like jumping or no yeah they actually do jiggle now not as much as a normal boob would but they do move they're not like just stuck on and um, they do move but it's not like as movable as a normal boob if that makes sense Someone said it take long for your boobs to drop in place. One of mine still sits up high. So they can literally drop at different rates. So that's completely normal. Um, I feel like mine really, really gradually dropped. I feel like at three months, mine were like done um, at dropping and fluffing. But they just really gradually drop. It's mad because you don't actually notice it. But then it's when you look back at a picture from two weeks ago to one that you look at today in the mirror, you're like, oh my God, they really have. But day by day, you won't notice it. Like they don't just fall one day and you're like, oh my God, they're about to drop. And it happens gradually, nearly so gradually that you're like, have they even fallen? 
fall and you look back and you're like wow they were like up here before um and they really do just fall by themselves like gravity just pulls them down um i think just resting is a big one as well i feel like it just makes the process go smoother like me and ali went together to get them done and we just both had really really good experiences we just stuck to all the rules like cleaned our scars everything perfectly like rested literally even when you feel like you're not tired or you're not like drained anymore rest like take the time to rest um like take a few extra days after you think you're fine as well um and just well you can go on your walks and stuff but just rest and give your body like good food I feel like I'm running off a tangent there I don't even know what I was talking about but yeah one of them can drop at a quicker rate than the other they're like they're two different things it's not a set like you have a set of boobs obviously but one is separate to the other and um, but if you see after like three months maybe that's one still higher up then talk to your surgeon or six months and um, what's completely normal for them to drop at different rates so don't be worrying someone said how did you know what size to get I literally again just showed pictures um and was like I want this boo what would that be on me he measured me he checked like what would suit me tell me what would suit me I tried on two different or three different sizes I think and that's how you pick then the the size that you try on is actually really really helpful in seeing what your boobs are going to look like and um, someone asked me that as well actually if it is an accurate representation I think it was um to how they feel as well because you can feel like the weight of them so definitely like maybe go off your size or as well what, what it looks like it's obviously not identical to what it feels like in the end but it is a really good representation of what they'll be like in the end someone said did i go for a round or teardrop i went for a round everything about price and accommodation and all is in my vlog and my uh, one month video so i'll leave them down below i'm not gonna answer them again because there are quite a lot of questions on that um someone said though was it worth the pain i think so like i can't even remember the pain now that i think back i feel like pain you just forget what it's like um it was just a really really heavy tight feeling but nothing unbearable and when you're getting something that you have wanted it makes it easier to be in that pain like it wouldn't be nice being in pain obviously but it's not nice anyway but it wouldn't be great being in pain for no reason but if you know you're getting a nice set of boobs you're like okay just smile to the pain and it's actually fine someone said have you lost any feeling anywhere and can you breastfeed in the future most people will be able to breastfeed in the future so hopefully i'll be able to i've lost a tiny bit of feeling right under my nipple just in literally one spot like literally here it's so weird it's like just a circle of numbness yeah that's just the only place i can't feel it's so weird my nipples not like i still feel but not that little circle Someone said, do you regret not going bigger slash smaller? I heard boob grid is real. So I actually got really good advice before I went in surgery. I think it was like a few weeks before. Um, and I was talking to a girl and she said, look, you can always make them look. Because I was stuck between two sizes. One was this one and one was one size bigger. And she said, she was like, you can always make them look bigger. But you can't really make them look smaller. And I was like, that's so true. Because like some tops I wear, like I wore like a bodysuit from Marzal label. And it really pushed them up and made them look really big. But then I can also pop on a sports bra in the gym and not look like I've huge boobs like I just think I don't know I feel like a lot of people would always say go with the bigger option but I'm glad I went the smaller option and it went it was my gut everyone was telling me now go bigger go bigger because you'll miss what the swelling's like because obviously they swell and they go down then um but I didn't I don't ever wish I went bigger like I literally feel like they're perfect for my body my gut was telling me that go what your gut says not what other people say because a lot of people I think like majority of people were saying no go the bigger one um, but I was like no my gut's telling me smaller and you can always go bigger in the future if you want if you get them redone it's hard to go smaller because your skin stretches um, but yeah I think just go with your gut and don't listen too much to people like obviously to a certain extent listen to what they have to say but don't don't base your opinion or your actions just on what other people say like do what's best for you as well someone said your boobs look amazing thank you so much um is it a weird sensation having something inside your skin i literally asked this to my friend who had her done before me i was like does it feel weird that there's like you know something in there and she was like no not at all and i couldn't imagine i couldn't imagine having something in me and just like being okay with it but literally they just feel like my boobs now i feel like i've always had them i don't remember what it's like to have no boobs it's the strangest thing ever it doesn't feel like there's something sitting there like it just feels like they're mine and it's so weird but it's the best thing ever like literally best thing i ever done i always heard people say that and i was like oh god is it really like is it that good but the confidence it's given me like it's been something that i always wanted to get done again i'm not promoting it but it was something i wanted since literally the age of 13 um and i'm just so so glad i got it done so glad i bit the bullet and done it because it's given me just so much more confidence in myself someone said how long do you have to wait till you go swimming gym etc so gym i'm pretty sure was eight weeks and um, but you're getting your doctor will tell you that your surgeon swimming i think until your scars have closed and putting tan on and stuff like that so i think tan i put on after six weeks i think yeah so as soon as your scars are closed i think you're all good for stuff like that um 
but yeah, I think that was six weeks, I'm pretty sure. Someone said, are they still firm? Do they feel hard? Like, they don't feel, like, you can see, I'm like, <laughs> I feel so weird doing but you can see I'm, like, squishing them. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not like rocks, but up here they're kind of hard because there's no, again, there's only skin there covering them, not really much fat because I haven't got much up there. But like you can see that they do, they do squish, but they're not like the real thing. Again, pricing, the hotel and about the clinic and stuff is in my last two videos, so I'm not gonna explain it here because I feel like this video's gonna be really long already. Um, someone asked, looking back, should you have been as insecure about your boobs? Um, I don't really know if that means like, was I or, or should I have been? But it was just something I was insecure about. There's always there's always gonna be something you're insecure about that other people don't see. And all my friends at the time were like, oh my God, you don't need one, don't do it. Like it's a, a, a big thing and obviously it's a big thing. But it's just something that I was so insecure about and it's something I wouldn't stop thinking about and everyone has that one thing or multiple things that they don't like about themselves. And that was mine and that's why I changed it. Like I wouldn't think that my boobs on someone else I'd be like, oh my god, they're horrible. It wasn't that. It was just on me, on myself, how I felt about myself. It's such a personal thing, surgery. Um, it's such a big thing to share as well and to open yourself up to that. And as well, telling people, look, I was really insecure about that. It's, it's a big thing, especially online. Um, But yeah, it was definitely something I was insecure about. Like, And I'm I'm glad I changed it, to be honest. Someone asked, do you still wear a post-surgery bra? I do, because I'm a weirdo. You're meant to... Well, my surgeon told me to wear it uh, every night to go to sleep. And I still do. Or I wear a sports bra. Um, but other than that, I don't wear it during the day. But I just feel like secure and I feel weird not wearing something now up top to sleep. Like I do sometimes on holidays if I'm just like too drunk or something or forget to put it on. But I still do always wear it just because I'm weird. Like I still wear my retainer for my braces from like, I don't know how long ago. That was eight years ago or something. Um, So I still do. And I think that if you heard and recommend something, you should probably do it. Someone said, will they drop or stay as they are? Um, I think this is me like fully dropped. I hope it is because I love where they are now um, so I'm pretty sure that they are fully dropped. So if someone asks they feel supported without a bra on, like people with naturally big boobs need really supportive bras etc. I feel supported all the time like they just they just stay there like, even with no bra on um, or just like a, a t-shirt over like they just stay there so you just feel they're supported because they don't like droop do you know that kind of way because that's why people probably have to wear a bra because they, their boobs might sag a little bit but they just stay there so i don't have to wear a bra most of the time which is the best thing ever someone said you go under or over i went under are you happy you waited to the age you were to get your surgery yet yeah, like i was saying i'm glad i waited because it just made me be more informed um, and I feel like you just need to wait and see because you might like grow out your insecurity or something like that. But I waited, I waited a long time. Um, so I'm glad I waited until that age just to see um, and just to make sure that it wasn't something that was like just a phase. More questions about the essentials for going away for surgery, but they are already answered again in the first two videos. Someone said, do you think your boobs dropped evenly over the past six months? I think one of them took a little bit longer to drop. Um, yeah, I feel like one of them was a little bit longer, but now they're quite even. Also, sometimes if one of your boobs isn't like exactly even, like your boobs are sisters, not twins, it's like your eyebrows. And even like natural boobs, they're not gonna be exactly the same. So don't be stressed if your boobs aren't literally identical because they were different before. So they'll be a little different afterwards, if that makes sense. Are you happy with your size and ears look like what you had imagined, like your inspo pics, etc.? Yeah, they're literally everything I imagined and more. I literally am in love with them. Like they're like my two babies. How long did the drop and fluff process take? I think it happened in the space of three months. Um, I think it like slowly happened and I'll insert pictures here if I can of like progress pictures maybe of like within the three months you can see differences but definitely in the first three months I'd say the most happened. Do you have any visible scarring? Yeah I have two scars right under here like I said earlier I'll insert pictures I'll put them again here as well um but yeah just under here two little scars. Everyone's saying I can't believe it's been six months because it flew like literally I can't believe it either it just went so so quick um I just feel like I blinked and I'm six months post-op. Thank you so much as well for all the lovely comments about my boobs in the question boxes Um, these are all so good and as well during it everyone was so supportive wishing me luck and stuff like that and I was quite nervous obviously sharing it because it's such a big big thing to share you open yourself yourself up to a lot of hate and a lot of like vulnerableness I suppose or vulnerability I can't even speak today Um, vulnerability because you're saying you're talking about your insecurity you're, you're fixing it and a lot of people well some people don't agree with it so it definitely wasn't an easy thing to share but you have been so lovely and so supportive over them I feel like we were all on this <laughs> journey together last question if you were to do it all again would you go to the same place yes 100% I love the place you'll see in my last two videos I actually couldn't speak highly enough about them it was so clean Um, the people there were lovely they just couldn't do enough for you and I just had a great experience all around there was no issues there was no problems I was really really blessed having such a good experience me and Ali just had 
the best time. It was just really, really good, everything. We just stuck to, you know, what the surgeon said. But if you rest up and basically do as you're told, um, then you'll be absolutely fine. That's it, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any more questions, please leave them below. I do think I got them all though. I feel like this video is really, really long, I'm so sorry. If you have any questions I haven't got to answer probably in the last two videos, so it's either the vlog or the one month um, post-op update. So click them as well and watch them if you wanna see more questions being answered. Just more about the clinic and actually the process itself. This is more about like stuff afterwards if that makes sense and um, so yeah that's everything i have to go to my meal i'm actually running late i have my bag packed beside me to run off but as always any questions even down below any more questions either you can always dm me on instagram i'll leave my handle up here um, and yeah thank you so much for watching i'm so sorry this was so long and i will see you next week